tonight. Hydra makes a dryer tumble, a man points at the camera, and Farouk shares one of his favorite chat up lines. <laughs> to the drop zone. Tonight we're covering BattleBots Season 4, Episode 3. Fights. Fighty fights. Fights. Yes. Fights. Fights. Or fights. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Because I'm never gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect your surroundings. So this was Copperhead's first fight. It was their debut to BattleBots yeah. and it was off to a very, very slow start. Like they, they didn't really do the whole full charge up and spin the drum or, or do the whole tactic where they, they kind of drive away and then spin up the drum or anything like that. And that allowed Scorpius to come in for the attack. And that was interesting too because Scorpius has a new driver this series. So, yeah. And Scorpius is a very interesting, it's a very unique machine to drive. And I think part of Scorpius' tactics is always keep the front facing machines, especially when they have spinners. Yes. Because they have that that kind of scoop at the front and it's almost sacrificial in its way because we saw that a couple of times in the fight. <laughs> that was a bed slap! That was good. It was banging against Copperhead's drum and it was knocking it over. But Scorpius does this brilliant thing where every time it gets knocked over it just goes bah! and gets back onto his wheels again. Yeah, especially the fact that it didn't have to use the weapon because it just like somersaulted back on its wheels and just kept going. Like, yeah. it just refuses to die. I think the weight of that weapon Scorpius is making it go eh. You yeah, that? you can see it like tipping back. No, it got some serious air and it's all the more impressive it can keep going because of those little plates at the front that got bent up and even got back bent back into their original shape at one point. I was point. like, that, that's, that's nice to see the other team. It, yeah. <laughs> but no, for me, it was this was definitely Scorpius' fight. They were constantly bringing the attacks to Copperhead. I don't know if Copperhead was suffering nerves or anything like that because they seemed a little bit cagey. I think it suffered the same things that happened to Minotaur. It was just basically issues with the with the drive yeah the one moment that i did notice something and that's just something because i watched the build area of copperhead is they have chain drive on just little motors onto the chain yeah when scorpius came down like it and hit it it knocked one side out <laughs> oh look at the work job you work did they get the drive with the saw yeah they snapped the chain see even though, yes, at the very start it was very nervous, you know, going mm. back and forward. Do you think that was a deliberate attack or was that a complete fluke that they managed to knock out the oh, drive? Oh, honestly, dude, I think that was pure tactics. That yeah. was that, because, like, as they said. Because if so, that's a hell of a hit. That was, that no, is, no, that was multiple hits. Yeah, that is so precise. In the direct thing. So I was like, that's pretty cool. The, the, their weapon system, I love. Like, I've noticed the fact is that with the arm, like we've seen Scorpius with big long arm, we've had it, and and they've learned from it, so they've made it more small, compact. Mm -hmm. now, and it's, and whatever type of, I think it's a disc or a hammer type thing on their on their thing, because when it came down, it, it felt like it was like a, an axe spot. Yeah. But it, it's just brutal. It just keeps going and going. Like I honestly do believe that uh, with Copperhead is they just weren't prepared for this. I think they were. Well, I honestly yeah. think Copperhead thought was. Like you seen without a big initial like full speed attack going, that's gonna kill it. Oh no, it's that. It's yeah. Still, well, what it's do we do? What do we do? Panic, sort of panic. Thing, yeah. And because they're I, I believe because they're more smaller than Scorpius, they can't really turn. Like even because you know with all spinners, like even with the jar, you're fighting your robot. Like you're yeah, also exactly, fighting yeah. with it. So I it, like. This was a this was just a death. Yeah. I was just watching like this thing not working. Another thing too I've noticed, and I don't know from episode one to now, I've noticed the floor just seems to be working against everybody. It's destroyed, man. Like, like if you look at some of the like some of the wide shots of the arena here. Yeah. Like, like, it's it, like what that, happened? That's what happened at the start of this fight. Yeah. Scorpius goes for the back rush and gets yeah, caught. And, and gets stumped yeah. by a, a, like a weird little Like I think it's like a bit of like a, a well went wrong or something. Because yeah. like, look, you can see, if you look closely, as you say, there is a massive gap. And I automatically thought, as I said to you at the, when we were doing the, re the review part, is I thought was that no in the classic series that had the... Little, oh, the Hellraisers. I yeah. thought that's what it was. But if you look closely, that's not where the floor pivot part is mm -hmm. so uh, I think that's going to be a, a thing happen with the rest of the series is the floor is going to be the ultimate winner no absolutely but right. this fight was it's a good uh, it's good it's a good first fight Scorpius mm. absolute badass 
Copperhead needs a wee sleep and a re- rethink of yeah. uh, their tactics. But, but I mean, you know, fair play to them. No, you know fair I mean? play. Like, it's for, like one of their first if fights. You, you think about it too, it's a brand new build because the last time they appeared in it, they were a poison arrow. That's right, yeah. So, yeah. like, they they know they've perfected the drum spinner, which is perfect. It mm. never stopped. No, it The didn't. drive let them down, but the drum just, just kept going. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's the early rounds of fight night, and yeah. you'll, you'll see that from a lot of machines where it's like, oh, just work out a couple of kinks and you'll be better. I am next looking time. forward to seeing their next fight because that one big initial hit, even though they were fighting Scorpius, but if, if it had that initial hit and kept going, the, yeah. if the chain drive didn't break on Like, target the weightless. Big you time. Know, yeah, yeah. But, like. Uh, Instead of a Scorpius, the target of the wheels. And. And and one. <laughs> I've fallen and I, I can't get up. <laughs> I, I cut your legs off by it. <laughs> did, did it kill it? No. Oh wait, no, 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 no. no. <sighs> See, it doesn't have the speed. That's because they've cut the, the back wheels off. <sighs> Why are you flipping? Before we watched this episode, I'd seen that Bloodsport had put a little weapons test video up on Facebook. Mm. And I was very, very impressed with it. It gave me vibes of Ice Waves Blade, kind of mixed with the shape of Gigabyte, you know. It was like, it was like a nice little mix yeah, of the two, you know. Smoosh. Yes, it's a little baby smoosh. Yeah. Um, it's deadly as well. Good holy hell, though. Yes, like, in all fairness, I'm very, very impressed for a rookie team that, that, that go up against, like, a, a, a scary veteran. Yes, very, very much so. But the, the trouble is, but like say if I was driving lucky mm. and I had that great little uh, it's a four bar lifter isn't it like a, it's, a, it's a little I call it a punter oh a punter because yeah. it just goes yeah. you know and like knocks them skyward if they get on yeah, the knees and punt it but then again is that arm still working I think now they're, they're seem to be fine now what I would have done is get in underneath them and just punt them and, and like try and knock them over and pray to God or any deity that I believed in, <laughs> that they, they were knocked over and they couldn't self right Because you saw it in the fight where Bloodsport was spinning up, they were you know, giving a couple of hits to Lucky, but then the spinner spun down. So I was thinking, get yeah, underneath them, yeah, pump yeah, it over it. And, and hope that it doesn't have the torque in the drive to like, spin and knock itself yeah. back onto its wheels again. And Lucky had that chance. Like there was one part of the fight I noticed there where was. Like, they got them right there, but they didn't fire the little punter when it mattered because they were so busy firing the punter whenever they were halfway across the arena which I think maybe might have been a transmitter or a receiver I fault that was like trying to rebind to the controller. Yeah I think what happened was one that big hit and it spun Lucky away. Oh dear. No! Oh, no no no. That it literally was the receiver just stopped yeah. and then they're trying to bind it and you could see that it the arms so just keep going. Which is also losing gas as well, so yeah. like that. Is it gas part? I think it's gas. I part. thought it was electric part. Is it? I don't know. I'm an idiot. I was just fucking you. Don't know you build like a million amp weights a week. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go like it's electric gas. It's a thing. A it's a thing, thing that makes goes it boom. hard. <laughs> yeah. and it's brilliant. Right. Uh, <laughs> but no, the the trouble with Lucky was they they took the back wheels off. That and another thing too, and this is not uh, like disrespect to the team, I think Lucky has is showing its age at this point. Yeah, definitely. Like either they need to redesign it completely, which I know teams will go, yeah. this design works and it's staying this way, but yes, the wheels were a really, I, really bad moment. I think the wheels, maybe the, the shape of it needs to be redesigned, but I love the weapon. Oh, the weapon? I love the weapon of Lucky. Yeah. Like, I mean, some of the, like, it's actually in our opening titles when they fought Gemini. Oh. And they just went, bye! <laughs> pumped it into there. You know, like, that's why it's in our opening titles. I absolutely adore Lucky as a robot, but, yeah, it just, they took the back wheels off. And it, and it was just, skin. it was slaloming around the arena at one point, you know? Which, as if it was, as in, uh, the judges, I know for a fact, as I was saying to you, is that that... There's no control, so no. that's you're losing points in that. Then no aggression the, the either. Interference with your your weapon going off yeah. on its own, your wedge being flung Tore from up. one side I to the love other. I that as well. I uh, say, so look, lucky he's not giving them an inch no. there. Oh. oh, they've still got one more wheel on that side, so they must have three wheels or four wheels. Oh, bye bye. oh, 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 Bloodsport got them and they ripped it off a little bit yeah. and then they targeted that weak spot 
brilliant, so entertaining, where they fired it across the battle box. It actually hit the glass, and they got a shot of it hitting the glass. Not only that, they, they did take that off as well. They also took the wheel guard off the other side, and yeah. then you could see the, the captain or the, one of the team members going, go to the side, go to the side, take the wheel, take the wheel. Yeah. That's brilliant tactics. I have to really commend them as like, you know, imagine this, you're a rookie team, you're coming in, who are you going to fight? Lucky. See, I can, ah. I can kind of see Lucky sitting in the pits, hearing who they're up against and going, well, may as well take the wheels off because they're going to take them off for us anyway in the fight, you know, like, just take the back I think off. they're getting moments of uh, their fight with Sono Achi. they're getting like, they're going, yeah, yeah well, that was a bad time. That was that was no no. These wheels are expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put as few of them on the robot <laughs> as we can. We've got to save the budget this time. You know. Here, no, in all fairness, though, Lucky came prepared. Like, did you see the Tower of Luckies? Yeah. So what's uh, going on there? I think it's going to be this. This a oh, that's a cluster bot. They yeah. all come in like that, and then they all come out yeah. like, oh it's my god, it's so lucky. In the red square, the leaning tower of luckies. That'd be brilliant. That'd be class with you, you kill them all. <laughs> and do you know what? I will say this. Fair play to both of them. They made it last the full three minutes. Yes, because like, in all fairness, like, some devastating hits. Like, there's a lot of machines out there that would take that type of damage from Bloodsport, and that's it. KO. Now, I hope I you can agree with this. At the very last moment, with the clock just counting down, then yeah. you could see the spinner. They got spin Bloodsport like, getting spinner I was like, come on, one more hit. Come on, come yeah. on. Like, bleh. You're like, ah. Oh. But like, in all fairness, like you, you weren't wrong about the spinner. Like you said, to I'm me, not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> that it disappears. Yeah, it's so so. Quick. I thought that the spinner flew off. Yeah, I literally was like, oh, you thought like when Lucky's front panel comes off, no one had no the spinner. But yeah. they done the first, the big massive bang, and the both of them like disappear. I thought yeah. this, the disc is just flown off. It's gone. Where is it? Then sparks. I was like, oh wait, no, it's still there. Yeah, <laughs> great. It's, 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 it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> Oh, you're fucked up now. Oh, she got caught. Has she? Got caught on the floor. Oh dear. It's so low to the ground. Oh, I don't know. Gotta say, man, I really love the design of Hydra. Yeah, man, the, this is right, badass. Right, in all fairness, no disrespect to Bronco. A little bit of disrespect to Bronco. Ooh. I kind of feel like this is where Bronco should have went. Yeah. Like, this is where Bronco should have ended up, and obviously they had the little comparison between Hydra and Bronco, which we'll talk about later on during the overall part of uh, the review. But I kind of feel like this kind of shape, this, this design, is the next kind of iteration to go. Quick question. Hello. What are these people? I don't understand. Like, I, d I actually don't understand how Hydra's weapon works. But do you know what really baffled me? Is, like... There's just like a tin, like like a tin of coke full of of hydraulic fluid. Yeah, yeah. And that's that, small. That powers a flipper. That powers that flipper. Right. Anyone in the comments, especially if Team Wyatt is watching this, please. Hi. How did you do it? Because did you sell your soul to Satan? <laughs> right. For me, right. And I have very limited experience when it comes to life. But <laughs> all right. Okay. But especially whenever it comes to pneumatics versus hydraulics. Yes. Because for me, I was always taught in technology and design that with pneumatics, you use them for things like bus doors opening and closing mm. because they're gas part. Yeah. So, you know, they don't have, they have the speed, but they don't really have the, the pushing part. Mm. And then you use hydraulics for things like, you know, like whenever tractors have those little things on the side to plant them into the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's hydraulic rams. Hydraulics, powerful but slow. Pneumatics, yeah, quicker, but don't deliver as much power. Like the PSI levels are different. Yeah. How does Hydra's flipper work? I'm saying I... I am like, so, so confused. I thought, and you have fought with me with this, I thought that it was a spring in it. I don't think it's a... No, it can't be a so spring. So it, it, like, it, like, it pulls the, the flipper down. I'm talking absolute waffles, but... Yeah. Like, it pulls it down and the spring's there and it goes... Can't be a spring, dude. There's no spring that could be that powerful. You were watching no way. right now going, ha, ha, we're, it not was gonna, a spring. we're not going to tell you anything. No, but it's just... Nobody tells us anything. Like, no, they're all right they there. But, like, like, it's witchcraft. It is. But, like, this is new technology. The Bronco's going... Where? What? <laughs> yeah. Although, in all fairness, I was kind of more impressed with Bronco's flips in, I, the, uh, I, in the test. I, 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 yes, the test is good, but I, they run out. But I keep forgetting. Hydra's, Hydra's hydraulic! It'll flip for days. It's mad, it's like mad. Like Bronco eventually just go, meh. 
And Andrew's like, hello. But you've noticed that they're, they're really hyping this up. They're really set. So I, I'm, I'm thinking society, that yeah. there's like, you know, they're, they're praying and it never happens. No, I, right? I think in you fight think so? night, that's a guarantee. They've, they've, they've obviously put that together. Okay, quick question. Who do you think? Who will win between <sighs> those two? Don't make me choose. You have to, you have to choose. Right. Um, I would say Hydra. I was going to say the same. Now, I'd say if the Broncos going to go into this, they'd have to go straight in and go right, right into the arena wall. See, I, I don't know, because like, looking in terms of the free shipping fight, yes. like we saw with Hydra, they had a couple of problems that allowed Gary Jin with free shipping to exploit. Yes. So, you know, like I, I keep wanting to say activate, but it's not. A, so let the bot battle begin. Fight. Activate's <laughs> quicker. Just FYI, America. But <laughs> ooh, <laughs> well it is. Come uh, on, yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah. Joe. If it was me, I'd just go. Go. Yes. <laughs> Move to the direction of the machine. So anyway, whatever happened, uh, free shipping was coming toward Hydra. Hydra's coming toward free shipping. I'm going to destroy you, right? <laughs> the floor. And, Hello. And the floor just went. Yeah. The floor went. Remember me. Bah! So Hydra gets stuck on the uneven floor. That allows Gary Jin to come in with his machine and get at the sides and push it into yeah. the screws. And then they tried the flamethrower and the flamethrower didn't, didn't work. work. Uh, it eventually did, but you know it was kind of too late after that point. So looking at it like that, I think Hydra kind of suffers the same problems as... Pardon me, I had breakfast. Had, <laughs> had the same problems as Bronco. Yeah, free shipping. Burn it! Sex. Kill it's it with fire! It, He's had problems that before. No, he, the, the he's Lee, using yeah. the James Bond gas. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the ignition thing's away. I didn't realise that Hydra has little skirts, but they're all like moving the right. So do, yeah, like like, and even on the front as well, they have little. I, don't think, I, I think they're just bolted on; they don't move. The other side. I could have sworn they no, move. No, no, like they look because if you look very closely, because the camera zoomed in, like you can see from the back, the part, bottom part, they're bolted. There's bolts inside right, of it. Right, right. But with with free shipping, like you could tell if those skirts weren't there. They yeah. would have literally got underneath. Because you can see him like going and raising the, the forks trying. as well. But that's what caused a bit of damage because Hydra did that little panicky, oh god, we have to do something here, flip. And it turned out it ripped off part of one of the little uh, front skirts. Yeah, I think that was like the main collision because the two yeah. of them, like, like a lot of times they were nose to nose with each other. Mm. And like I did notice that when they'd done the panic flip, they also had like their wedge, like I think Free Shepherd's wedge was on their little wedge. Yeah. And when he f panic flipped, it, it just off, ripped yeah. it apart. Though we have to say that that flip. Way! Yeah. <laughs> There's a life now. Free cartwheel there. <laughs> the flips that they did get on. Good God! I, I keep wanting to say original sin. That, that they kept getting on Free. That's a better name. But they, <laughs> it's an easier well, name. It is, yeah. Like original sin. Uh, free shipping Amazon. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But still a badass robot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, though the flips that they did get on it was so impressive, so high. Like, I mean, they, like there are like definitely comparisons to Bronco in this machine. Mm -hmm. From the height that it was getting off of uh, free shipping. Oh, uh, don't flip it. Leave it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I leave it alone. Left. No, no, he's going for another one. Out of the arena. Yeah, he's trying to get Out of the arena. It, like, the first flip damaged its lifter. Yeah. And then the next flip literally went, you're a turtle now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't move. I've fallen and I can't get, get up. <laughs> <laughs> There's another thing I'm really annoyed about this fight. Like, they had a little crate with a vase. Yeah. Which is like an urn or something? I'm very confused. Like, his mum made it. Yeah. So he brought it into the battle box and went, thanks mum. Bash. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Like, I thought, like, in my head, the tactic was, well, throw that crate at them. Yeah. If the crate doesn't work, we're done for. We just keep running around in a circle and burn them. Didn't work that no, way. No, burn the crate and then throw it. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Scare them with fire. But, like, like, it's a night, it's a good wee tactical fight. Yeah, it was. Like, uh, like if you realise, like, Free Shipping has already had tried and tested fights, so it knows what to do. Hydra's brand new and the floor just didn't want to be friends with it. It's brand new but it's from an experienced team so at least ah. they, they knew what they were doing. Yeah, like, like it, it's magic. I think literally the, the shoulder shoulder the devil yeah. went Hydra! There you go, Hydra, powered by wizard juice. So who do you think? Monsoon maybe? Oh no, I'll dirty Ragnarok. You think so? Dude, the wedge of that, that's wedge for days, like that's gonna fuck it up. Come on. You know for a fact that uh, Monsoon's going to do this. It'll spin up. It'll look fantastic. It'll hit it. And the weapon will die. It'll shit the bed. <laughs>
Well, that was fun. Yep. <laughs> uh, they really hyped this fight, didn't they? Yeah. They were once teammates, but then they now divide. they're mortal enemies. Uh, Who still give each other a hug after the fight's yes, over? Yes, and happy yes. and crumpets. <laughs> Take that, battle box <laughs> editors. From the Isle of Sepi, off the English shore, when it lays down the hammer. Major Tom's from there. Is it? Major uh, Isle of Sepi, I. Uh, <laughs> Peter Thomas watch is going, do us proud boys. It was sad and not in a that's pathetic. It, it was sad in a I'm genuinely sad. Yeah. Despite your uncontrollable laughter. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, like we'd, we'd seen what uh, what old rockers uh -huh. had managed to cook up over in China, or China as um, sane people call it, uh, with AU Thumper. Yes. And uh, like the, you were saying, like the axe setup is kind of the same as AU Thumper? Yeah, like for looking at it, it looks like it's gear. Like yeah, it's gear based. It's yeah. gear based. And I think that was the, the downfall here because yeah. when the, the two connected, it, I think that it just like see, like, a, like the, the gear moved and just jammed. It was heartbreaking. Which is ironic because they were using the heartbreaker. Ah! Oh, yeah, you see, it's all connected together through our idiocy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, like, like that's one thing that I was so disappointed about with this fight. Like, I felt so bad for Rackers, man. Yeah, like... Cause, I mean, and especially Jack Tweedy as well. Because, I mean, like, you know, first time he rocks up, his robot gets ripped in half. And then the second time this happens. And I just, I really, really hope they're looking for us in the future. I like, love yeah. Ragnarok as a design. Oh, man, the artwork, though. The artwork on the, the scoop is brilliant. And also a shout-out as well to Paul for building his little mini yeah. version of Ragnarok, too. Like, that was class. I, I also noticed, and I could be wrong, but the wheels, they look very suspicious. The wheels look similar to, I think they're the same type, I don't think they're the actual wheels, but they, they look <laughs> could you, could, similar could you imagine to Concussion's wheels. I think they necked it. From Robot <laughs> World. Yeah, just like no, no, the, the door opens up, where's the wheels? <laughs> Rock is halfway to America going, ha <laughs> <laughs> He could do that. He can. He's a, he's a scary man. He is a monster man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. Go on, but la 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 la. Oh, it didn't shit the bed. Okay, all right. Oh no no no. Ah, uh, Faith and Brewster. Yeah. Going into the fight, like the the both of them, the tactics were spot on. Yes. Because with uh, with Tom and Monsoon, he had the tactic of you know get away, let the let the spinner spin up, and then try and go like for come in <laughs> as he attacks them to go for the wheels. Yeah, mm. and yeah, you know, fair enough because the uh, the front scoop on Ragnarok is just it is thick. Yes. T H I C C. Uh, the Heartbreaker, which he said was based on a Roman spear. Yeah. Where as it goes in, like it gouges. I thought, like, that's class. That's a, that's a really See, good tactic. I, I think something happened in the pits. I think when they were walking past Monsoon, they went, plastic armor. Ha ha. Yeah. And then he's like, then, ha. You fell from my Tom plan. like, ha ha ha. Fox. My evil scheme. Yeah. Come on, self right. Oh, you're self right, all right. Self right. No. What to tell you? What the fuck? I, w I was telling you it was Ten. Game on soon. Ah, oh, that's nice of him. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you puppies! Come on! It was over way, way quicker than I wanted I, it to be. I, I will give Tom some credit. Like he went, no, this fight can't end like this. Yeah. Like, I can't take this win like this. I'll do a little tiny boop. I have to move and go back on the wheels, Grant. Oh, the day. Yeah, because you can see the wheels were still Oh, they were still spinning. going. You know, it was the axe. The axe that was yeah. up. But I mean, it was so frustrating because, like, you're used to an axe by itself, right? Yeah, I was waiting for it to just go, and yeah. just spring like, back over. Yeah, back. Know? And you're like, e. But as you say, it is early days. It is taking the problems of a lot yeah. of machines. But I do have high hopes for no, I, I was expecting Monsoon to win just simply really? just simply because no, Ragnarok isn't test bedded yet uh, oh yeah yeah but honestly I was going for Ragnarok it was just the wedge yeah like as as Tom had said we were terrified of the wedge mm. because if we're not spun up we're we're gonna do a little uh, okay, go sleepy night next. Negated it really well though, I think, because like the first hit, you can see it, the one that doesn't flip it completely over. You can mm. see it, it gets a little bit of air, comes back down again, 
But then that second monster hit. I think it's the beefy wheels on Monsoon. Because the wheels are completely different. Yeah. Like, I could be wrong, but they look like they're more bigger for And it's, turn. it's still doing that, that Toron thing. Where like the body lifts up, but yeah, that, pivot, yeah. that little pivot for the, the spinning hammer remains in the centre. Which, if you think about the design of, of Monsoon, that is a scary machine. You flip it over, you think, oh look, most spinners, you flip them over, they yeah. can't get back up. This keeps moving. I think, it's I think awkward. That's and it's really nice in this way too, that we've seen the progression of Because remember we were in the pits for Series 9 of Robot? Wars, yes. we saw the first version of Toron. Yes. And Toron, the first one, looked terrible. Wasn't like Thor's axe went right through the plastic? Yeah. Arm? You actually put your hand on you it. Can, and you like, put your oh hand my God. through it, yeah. Because yeah. I think I was actually talking to Tom's mom in the pits. Yes. Um, but like I was saying, like it's, it's good, it's just it's a little bit beefy, there's a lot of wasted space inside of that sort of thing. The Toron they came back with for Series 10, was it? No, Series 9. Would it have been Series 10? Yeah, I think it was. I can't, I can't I think mind it what it was. It was just brains jammed. No, it was. It was. Yeah, but like that is the the groundwork was set at that point for yes. the monsoon that we have now. Uh, they have learned so so much from the short time that they have been competing and fighting robots. Uh, I think this this new version of monsoon this is going to go. The I distance. believe it's going to be the top because they've even done things like where like that. That's what I love about this sport. More than anything else, it's the ingenuity that comes out of the destruction. Because, like, I love that most people have this argument that, oh, it's just people smashing things up. What's the point? It's it's the creativity that comes out of the destruction that I love. And the personalities of the machines and their teams. Yeah, but, uh, like, it's something so simple as Monsoon was in the tournament last year. Did quite well. Mm -hmm. But they noticed little things like they had Monsoon the name cut into the side of it. And that was allowing spinners to grab hold of the armor and everything yes. like that. This year they've come back completely smooth at the front. Yeah, they've learned a lot. You know, so like it's it's little things like that. And it's the fact that they were able to knock out Ragnarok so quickly. Two hits. Yeah. But again from that, the creativity angle. So Ragnarok doesn't do too well in this fight. I hope it does better in the rest of the tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of, of Tim Rackers. Like I've loved that man since I first met him. Oh, I think yeah. he's brilliant. Uh, Star Wars man. head case. I have brand so we, we kind of fell in love with him a little bit. You You're know, one like, of us. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, it's, it's what happens next that I can't wait for. Like to see Ragnarok evolve. Yeah, I, I will say one thing. I know for a fact after this fight that Tim will have that axe working perfectly because yeah. if you notice before the little fight like when they're talking to the teams he's frantically wiring up he was an evil genius smiling yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna burn no, like, <laughs> the two of them played it up really really well for the cameras um good show but, yeah good but, that, but then straight after enough respect for each other give each other a little bit of a hug and go like I, I i'm did sorry like you the, lost i'm glad you yeah, won yeah i know? did like the moment when they couldn't say fright like the like i think uh jack was having a little bit of a flashback like no don't hit don't don't oh yeah. it's not it's wrong robot wrong <laughs> it's just don't stone head, it's don't head. And there was respect. Yeah. Like, like you could see the tour. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> you could see the monsoon yeah. turn down the weapon <laughs> and then done a wee nudge. Yeah. But, like, yeah, good friends. Good, not, not such a good fight, but still. Very good. It's, it's the history there. Yeah. That, that's what I liked about this fight more than anything else. And, yeah, it's a real shame that Ragnarok lost quickly and. As unfortunately as they did, but you know, there's there's room for improvement, and I want to see more from from both of them. Oh yes, big time, big time. He is on mad drugs. He's on drugs. Why is it gonna whisk? I don't know. Mad Cutter. Oh, man. Such an appropriate name. What were they on? That guy was a bag of cats. Mad. Brilliant. There was whisks. They literally took the egg beater and hit them so far. Man, this man, I think I think he got confused. I think he's meant to go to, to WWE and then got mixed up with BattleBots and went, <sighs> Hello. I don't know what was going on there <laughs> it was at all. I wish I had that man's energy. Yes. But I'm dead inside. <laughs> uh, and this confused you. This really confused me. I was like, is, is this life? What is, is this, this what, is this what life is? 
Um, it was great, yeah. Like it really took me back to the days watching WWF in my bedroom. Do you know what I actually I was thought it was? Is it is it uh, Mick Floyd? No, is it? Mick Foley. Yes, that's yeah. who it was. That's been bugging me. Yeah. I was going, I know this. <laughs> what is it? It's Mick Foley in disguise. <laughs> Hi, boys, I'm no, back. No, it is. It's Foley Junior. <laughs> we need to look that up. <laughs> we need to look that up. But like, but, yeah. So Mad Catter. I heard a little story about those. Meh. Meh. Apparently, and I don't know if it's true or not, so comment section and uh, any teams. Apparently, they just rolled up. They just showed they up. They just showed up. Got a robot. Can we fight? Can we fight, yeah. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> so you know for a fact that's not how it went. I went down like this. Hey, man, we got a robot and we're going to set you on fire. We're going to burn you in hell. We're going to smash him in the bats and we're going to be there. Cats are magic. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's what he was. I could see him going red. Oh man, that's crazy. Like, the intensity of the man. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> there's so many words you can't make up. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, like even his like before his little interview in the pits. Yeah. He was like, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to set him on fire, we're going to throw him, we're going to kick him off a bridge, and we're going to watch him burn, and we're going to take him out, we're going to fire him, and put him in a rock, and put fire him to the moon. Great. Yeah! Say what you meant there. <laughs> We'll win! Ah! <laughs> What's with this man shit? <laughs> Am I watching an anime? They're mad. Am I watching an anime with fucking whisks? But like, like everything was mad with this machine. Yes. Like it had two little, I think two little cluster bots. I, yeah. I think it did. It could be wrong. But there's just, oh. there was so much madness with this machine. There was, yeah. It's, um... It's a modular design, I think. Yes. Because no. like you saw, like, uh, like with the fight itself with Railgun Max, mm. uh, the first hit, and that was this fight over. Oh, because God, yeah. like that was a hell of a smack that you gave him with that that egg beater weapon, and we've seen a smaller version of Railgun in action. The time that you and me were over in, in Belgium. Yes. Uh, met the team as well. Very lovely. Lovely people. Yeah. Pictures, pictures, Oof. pictures. And a little picture of the feather group. Yeah, we know people. Uh, oh. That's just why you're watching this show, isn't it? To watch two Burks talk about all the people they've met. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, great people. But anyway, because uh, we're scum, you see. We need to be around people that are better than us. I also have another fact. Uh, facto? Yes. Facto. Mad Catter mm -hmm. are also in King of Bots. Yes, that's King right, Cat. Yeah. Now, I have been following the team. And he's even more mental. Oh, he's mental. When he's in China. They, it's whatever they eat there. <laughs> it's just mental food. Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, my God. They have just split the... They have uh, not split that in two. They have not split that in two. No, I think it's maybe just designed that way. But I follow them on Instagram as well, and there was a test of one of those little modular beds. Like this. It's also a self rider, the wee forks. Yeah, the little forks so on it as well, yeah. I think they looked at Red Devil and went, we'll do that. However, it didn't work that way. No, like, I mean, yeah, like, it's, it's very easy to compare this fight to Red Devil for some magical reason. I never thought I'd say yeah. that about Bad Cotter. But yeah, with Red Devil, whenever it, the, the track broke off in that fight, like it's a track so yeah, most it's of it's moving so yeah. like whenever it lands no matter where it lands it could still run about yeah. you know well lads i'm still alive <laughs> you can't kill me never gonna bah. die uh but with a uh, mad catter it's just a case of like you could see it for after the first hit the back of it was just oh, hanging on by yeah. a thread and then whenever it came off it was upside down so you couldn't see it properly move I, around i did love uh real guns tactic with their minibot yeah they jammed yeah. him in give him enough time to line up and then go for the killer blow. Yeah. And, and then took out their mini bot as well. Oh, that was brilliant. Just, yeah, just for the hell. Like, Hello. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. Bam! <laughs> you did now. <laughs> You're in my way. <laughs> yeah, and also the fact that uh, when Mad Catter was stuck on their side, that we're still so desperate to fight. Yeah. Like, they were firing that axe going, come on, we've got to get back to You sort of see time. that they were almost coming to the end. You're like, oh, yeah. that's another robot in this episode that's done that. You're like, yeah. oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So close, so close. Although they did manage to land a hit on Railgun Max with the, the Which axe. Which is a very powerful axe. Very powerful axe, yeah. And I think it just goes to show just how powerful Railgun Max is because they can stand up to that. Yeah. Like, this and also the fact levels. that, like, uh, like, all kidding aside, that's what I love the most whenever it comes to Roboteers is that 
I'm losing this fight. I don't care. I'm going out all guns blazing. Yes. So even though he had part, of, like uh, there was a third of his robot missing. Your robot was split in two. Oh, I don't care. I'm a mental master. <laughs> <laughs> and he still went. I don't care. Bah! Hit him with the axe. No, he come in for the hit. I can get him. I can catch him. Yeah. <laughs> get him now. Get yeah. him. Catch him. Though isn't this the first? Now I could be wrong, but this is a. You often are. I am usually. As am I. Yes. I'm right half the times he's wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm wrong half the times he's right. <laughs> is this the, leading first, the drop zone? <laughs> is this the first like, successful egg beater weapon? K2 won buggle bots. Oh. <laughs> oh. I forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> What's that on again? What? Oh, that's the orange one, yes. What? Is it? Do I even watch the things that I'm involved in? I'm joking, I'm joking, yes. <laughs> no, I mean heavyweight. Yeah, because I mean, like, push to exit beat Hobgoblin, that tells you the, the track record of that weapon in the sport. Yeah, oh, well, it did knock out uh, Shun's uh, axe. It took Shun's axe, yeah. But this, this Beast. killed a robot. Beast. This killed everything. Yeah, because I mean, th this is basically their, um, their, their lightweight or their featherweight. Like, but just bigger. Yes, they looked at the feather equipment. Successful. Make a bigger one. Yes. Make it better. And all shall die. Yes, oh, yes all <laughs> shall die. Yeah. Everything was gone. But, like, what a team to lose to. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I love What the, a team to win against. I, but I will say one thing. Even in defeat, this man was a legend. Like, like oh, my robot completely fell apart. Like, we didn't put pulse on probably, but we're going to come back stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Great! <laughs> he was so close from doing a Plunderbirds, wasn't he? He was so close from grabbing the mic and going, I think oh, Listen, you shut up! You know, the thing is, Kenny Florian, ex MMA fighter. You don't mess with that man. You can't do that. I try it. You know, I, I would I'd be afraid to take the mic off Craig Charles, never mind Kenny Florian. Uh, he was a scary man, too. <laughs> yeah. Kill you. <laughs> oh, you got a spear? Oh, he'd shank you, yeah. Oh. He'd just be like, ah, is that right, mate? Bang! Ow! <laughs> You're not so pretty now when your mouth is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I've got that image, man. <laughs> no, I love this. I love the team. I hope. I hope this isn't just their one little fight and that's it. I Get out the more. plasters and the medical gauze because you've just been shanked on Robot Wars. <laughs> bye bye. And Battle bots, boop be doop. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> karma. <laughs> 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 No, that this is that sums it all up. This this great. fight was just metal. Jam. It was great. Next. <laughs> Captain <One>. Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> You're my special hero. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh what? Can I tell you one thing? What's Nightmare's looking awful different this series, yeah, isn't it? Slimmed down a bit, didn't he? Right. Okay. Here's the weird thing, right? Mm -hmm. So we have Breaker Box in this episode. They make a whole big deal out of the fact that oh, this used to be. Team Nightmare, and then they retired it, and now they've got Breaker Box in. And Breaker Box has been around for a while as well. Yes. But, okay. while I was doing the editing for this episode, and yes, that's how we work, like, I've actually edited the video that we're currently filming right now. Witchcraft! We're <laughs> special. But anyway, while I was doing the editing for the, the fight cards, I noticed on the BattleBots website, mm -hmm. there's a position for Nightmare. I, I th it's like Lab Machine. Oh look, it's here. <laughs> I don't know, I, th I think, don't rule it out, I think Nightmare could still be appearing in this season. Don't get my hopes up, man. Well, that's the way I'm saying it. But anyway, uh, as for this fight. Yes. Now, you have, you have a robot that on paper just looks like a little wedge bot. It's yes. a little wedgy boy going up against a machine that has two death drum spinners of doom. Here, the mini bot, exactly what I said I was going to do, just sit there going, yeah, you're all right, Daddy, you got this. <laughs> look how small it is. It's so tiny. I want to say one thing. Yep. The pictures made it look huge. Yeah. No, it didn't make it look like huge. No, not huge. Huge but is a different robot. A big. It made it look big. Yeah. But then when the cameras came along, what happened? It was a tiny little bean. It, 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 tiny? I was like, what? It was a small bean. Where's the rest of it? Yeah. It's, got, it's just a small little thing. Like, what? It's hidden underneath the battle box. <laughs> oh, that, it just rises. <laughs> yeah, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, can, I can warp through solid metal. Oh, Hello, the, I'm Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> when the team captain went near Falcon, I was like... Captain Falcon? Captain Falcon. That's what we're calling Captain called. Falcon. Like, when he went near him, I was like, this is tiny. Yeah, so I thought, oh my god, like two drum spinners going up against that? Easy win. 
Not the case. Mm. And I think this is the the least impressive performance from a Wayachi team's machine. Ooh. Well, it is. So when you think about it, like Hydra, yeah, yeah, yeah. badass Clipper, Sonowachi, uh, Sonowachi, Sonowachi no, no, annihilating no, no, yeah. huge. And then you've got little small bean Falcon that didn't See, really this do is, it. This is like, the youngster trying to prove to the big daddies. Oh, nice! No, you're gonna fuck up the LEDs. Hell of a hit on Breaker Box. Man, I actually did think it broke the weapon because yeah. that weapon went. <laughs> yeah, because you saw it, like it did, a, it did a little skipping rope. It, it went did a, all oh, the way around the robot. Well, yeah. it did a, oh, what happened? Yeah, well, what went on there? Yeah. <laughs> Pit him with the scoop, just keep beating the shit out of him. Falcon just doesn't seem to have the drive capabilities. Breaker box was over before over them before they could even register. It's like, oh, yeah. you're here beside me. Oh, hello. Like you even see, like when they, when they finally break free, it's just like it just didn't have the. I drive. think it is because it's got small wheels. I think because it's so compact that it's like there's like two big giant motors in it and very little room for small like little motors. Do you reckon maybe that plus the fact that you know like the. The, there's two spinning drums on this you, machine. You did say that you believe, and I do agree with this, is to put all the weight in the drums. Yeah. And that's what's like stopping yeah, the drive. Yeah, kind of messing with the that drive. That and the yeah. fact they've got the forks. Uh, yeah, that and also the fact that maybe a lot of the power in the machine is going to the weapon. There's very little power left over for the wheels. Yeah, I believe it. Like for the drive. I think the tactic behind Falcon was it. You hit it. That's it, Dad. You're, you're gonna. If you come directly at me, no matter what angle, I'm gonna mess you up. Mm. I wish they had kept the original design of Falcon. Yes, because this that would have been perfect for for a breaker box. Yeah, because it, it looks small. like a little stealth boat or something, doesn't it? Like it's got the it's three sloped machine. sides and then the the drum on the back. I I can see that 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 design's like old now, and they went right. We want to do something, but I like, don't know. It looks fairly modern to me. I mean, I know it's been around for a long time. Yeah, but it just it looks like it would fit in so well. Oh, like like we're not saying that, that this new one is bad. We're just saying from I've watched the fights of Falcon back in the day, and it's like like robots were, were trying to get it, and they would go up it, and they, they couldn't get round it. And yeah. then its, it's drum would they just could even have that, that, go that, at it. That great little thing where, like, say, a machine drives up that front wedge and then gets hit by the the spinner on the back. Ah. Like that would that'd be so cool to see. Like, yeah, two drum spinners are better than one. Fair yeah. enough. Um, I do think that um, just the the drive wasn't on their side, and uh, the size. I think it, it's way too small. Oh man, when Breaker Box pushed it, like. It's that small that it could fit the middle of Breaker Box's wedge. Yeah. Another thing I want to say that I, I realised is... Oh, here we go. No, 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 not a bad thing. It was kind of a, huh? Was I posted a picture of my featherweight and one of the team members, I believe, were tagged and it going, oh, look, someone's got your eyes. I, I, for the love yeah. of God, I was trying to figure this out going, what are they talking about? Then it dawned on me when the, picture, when the, the video appears, like, that's what they meant by the eyes. He's got my bot's eyes, or do I have its eyes? The question. The question. Are you related? Possibly. Hmm. I would, dude. We have none from on our hands. I, the wizard man. I, I, I want their their spells and witchcraft and wizardry, like because like these like three machines, and yes, okay, this one even though it's it's small and 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 the drive's a bit messed up. The the weapon. Yeah. It's scary, and that's that's the that's the scary part. That wasn't the big drum that had done that big hit. That was that the, was the drum, tiny yeah. one. That is terrifying. Now imagine if the big drum, if the drive had been like it could have spun around and went. Meh. Yeah. I, I I did feel sorry for the poor little uh, wedge bot. Oh, the, the, it, the breaker box. Like the, at the very beginning. Oh of the no, fight, the, the breaker box. Yeah, little, the, uh, it went. Hello, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, for yeah. God's sake. Have some fire. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> on Breaker Box. Keep I her, actually thought lead. Breaker Box keep died. Her lead. No, don't die. Don't die. Uh, no, it went to the judges. Um, I find this one a particularly strange fight to score. Based mm. on BattleBots' new kind of judging criteria and everything like that. Um, because the, like you can see why it was a split decision. Because, yeah, Falcon caused damage. Yes. To breaker box and to their primary weapon mm -hmm. as well. Like they, they actually they took a good chunk out of it. They bent it, uh, and also with breaker box, there were some very brutal slams. Yeah. Whenever like they they got uh, Falcon on top of them and they just bolted toward the walls. Yeah, they were going die die. But then like if you notice, 
there's one shot where they go toward the screws and Falcon kind of falls away so it ends up like Breaking Rock just rammed its own face into the screws and which I know, think that was the moment like the, yeah because they they lost their drive toward the end of the fight and the batteries I think started to go like like yeah. at one moment it just like it was just the weapon like we're, we're here we're still going yeah but we're not still great though too ah. because I was doing the little cart with I was doing what Duck did last week and the beauty of this that I didn't realize what always gives points for me LEDs. Yeah, a whole big screen of them. This was doing mad shapes on it. Yeah, like, but like when it was upside down, you were saying it looked like the lun the car underlights in Fast and Furious. Yeah, movies I was like, this is a Fast and Furious robot. Yeah. This is class. <laughs> Though I do think that kind of be a wee bit of a problem because you've got LED lights, you've got a four wheel drive, and you've got yeah. your scoop weapon. I think that all that happening just made it go me. Yeah, yeah. And you've seen it at the end of it. But I also believe it's the damage that was caused by it ramming into walls, trying to get Falcon to, to die, and then Falcon doing that one big devastating hit. So, yeah, I, I, I honestly didn't know who to, who to pick. Yeah, no, I think just like from an aggression standpoint, I think it was Breaker Box. Oh, Breaker Box all the way. Damage, I think, yes, could have gone either way because, mm. yeah, like, I, I, see, I don't know. I don't know. I think control and aggression belonged to, to Breaker, Breaker Box. Box yeah. But damage, perhaps, would Yeah, I, I would go with that. Because yeah. that's a Falcon. Because the, there was the big hit, but he also was hitting in the sides a bit. Like, it wasn't looking super, it was superficial, but yeah. I'd still, I would say they still count that as it's a hit. Mm. You've hit directly no, at the machine. Absolutely right. Hey! Good stuff. That's good. That's good. That's Kino. <laughs> That's high Kino. That's high Kino. He's doing some wild shit. He's doing the break dancing now, guys. Look at him go. <laughs> it's just He's confusing him. Hey, wait, well, back in his wheels. It hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> way! This was a spectacular uh, main event. Uh, the amount of, not, not even hits, but weapon to weapon. And that's that. And they were still moving. Bite force was on base mode. Like, I, I, this fight confirms it, if it ever needed confirming, that not only is Bite force worthy of going down in the annals of BattleBots history, so is Yeti. Oof. Oh! I love that Yeti was the one that took the first point of attack. Yes. Where they, like, those forks on the front of Yeti, so... The in oh, integral to its design, where they managed to just spear by force and maneuver it and push it into the wall. I think the fork actually messed up one of the wheels because, like, before that fork attacked, like, when it went near by force, by force it was perfect, yeah. spinning and hitting, spinning and hitting, and then when that fork hit it directly and they were jammed. I think when he was trying to like, break free, he actually ruined his his drive yeah. on one side. But even with the drive not working, Bite Force was still relentless, like throwing the Yeti up into the air. He's got caught in the fork. He scored him? Yeah, look, the fork got caught in the, in the, the scout, the, not scouting. Yeah, he's trying to swing him off. Whoa. Oh, oh God, there you off. go, Bite Force. It's not a design flaw, but it is a, when, that, when the moment happens, when you lose your, your drive chain for your forks, there's no control. That yeah, fork can go wherever, about, wherever yeah. you go. And if, if the spinner does hit it, like we've seen it with with um, lockjaw. Yeah. When a spinner hit it, like the the, the fork went straight it's up and jammed. Right back around, yeah. So if you're flipped on your on your back and that forks like that, yeah, you're you're done Which for. Which we it. saw, but I, ultimately I think it came down to yeah, damage a little bit whenever it came to Yeti, but more importantly control because in the the the, the opening seconds, yeah, they dominated by force, pushed them into the wall. They meant weapon to weapon, scary, and man. from that moment on, Bite Force had them because they were constantly coming in, like giving them attack after attack, had them up on their side and everything, caused the damage to the, up their to, wheel. The, to the fork. Not only that though, but I think both of these machines and more importantly the people who created them deserve reams of respect at this oh, point yeah. because Yeti took that hit to the wheel. The wheel stayed intact, I, yeah. yet... Yeti was thrown so high off the ground. There was something that Team Yeti did say before the, the, the fight was last year the amount of damage to their shell 
they noticed there was a lot of design issues with it so that's why they redesigned it to be this tough thing and by god it shows yeah like if it can keep going after bite force relentlessly hitting you and firing you all over the place yeah fur deuce fur well, deuce that in fact i loved it whenever they were caught upside down on their their fork and they were just going wild shapes i'm not stopping disco 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 techno 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 <laughs> <laughs> he has got caught in the fork i fucking knew that was gonna happen I thought they were trying to do the gyro thing where you're yeah, trying to gyro jump your back, back in, over, yeah. but the wheels are that big that you're like, oh no, yeah, it just gets oh no, <laughs> stuck on its side, yeah. I think both of us agreed on this is when we seen Yeti's uh, drum because we're used to Yeti, Yeti's drum is massive, yeah, and then it was this little narrow small one. I thought that you know the support struts or something yeah, would, would bend. I, like I don't think they caused a lot of damage to bite force with the drum. I don't think so. Because, I mean, yeah, it, it, it shanked bite force. Yes. Like, that was the fork that yeah, did that. Yeah, I got the fork stuck in and like it caused the damage to bite force's drive. The actual drum itself didn't even get a chance to shine. I like, think it didn't make contact with bite force at I, any point. I think the only damage it did was to the forks. Yeah. Well, then, as we said, like, we're only watching the episode, so there's no zooming with cameras and stuff. But I do think the forks on the right side were mangled. Mm. Because I noticed that when, when Bite Force is going forward, like those are all hinged. Yeah. These ones were just stuck. Stuck, yeah. They weren't so going up. Warped the hinges. So I like think that. maybe it was the forks more than the drive. Yeah, they, they met weapon to weapon. Mm. And that's one thing. But Bite Force was getting into the sides on Yeti. You know, it, was, it mm. caused the damage to the forks and everything. Uh, but Yeti's drum didn't make any contact with Bite Force except for the weapon to weapon. There was one moment at the start of this fight that made me go a wee bit, what, what was the tactic here? Now, Yeti went straight mm. towards him. Bite Force turned to the side. And I thought, is it you were trying to get your spinner up? Or was there, like, was there a I tactic behind that? that? They were strafing to the side. Because Bite Force has phenomenal drive setup. Like yeah. You can turn on a dime. I think they were going, right, yeah, he's going to box rush us. We'll yeah. go to the side. Do a 90 degree turn, come into the side attack and aim for those wheels. Ah, I think that's what the tactic was I there. thought there was a bit of a problem with that they needed time to spin out their weapon. Now, I know this is well, bite I th force. I think that's combined. Yeah, so... Because like, you have to think about it from a tactical perspective and, and we're idiots, you know, so like mm. we really have to think about this. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, for the driver bite force, it's just, oh, there's the tactic in my head there. But it's go, turn to the side, get that spinner up to speed, 90 degree turn, full speed, yeah, he doesn't know what's going on, bang. I did honestly go into this fight thinking it was going to be another whiplash moment. It was just going to be like wheels flying off, everything gone. I literally thought this was going to be a cut, like two seconds. Yeah. I genuinely did this, this and that surprised me. It really surprised me. Did no, it? absolutely. Um, I don't think there's there's really much else to say about that. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I think most of the the judges' points would have been awarded early on, just oh, just, yeah. just from that those first couple of major attacks on on Yeti. Yeah, Yeti did cause Bite Force to break down on one side, but you know, Bite Force weren't letting that affect them. No, like they were still. But like fairly active, they were still bringing the fight to Yeti, even though they'd lost that that drive on one side. And I, yeah, I can see why Bite Force won this. Yeah, I, it'd be a shocker if the reigning champion just goes bleh. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, okay. But yeah, like no real controversial judges' decisions no. this episode. No real sort of problems I had with it. Uh, I I love that main event fight. Oh. I think that was great. I liked all the fights. Like I mean, some less than others. Like Monsoon Ragnarok was a little bit of a mm. letdown. It was a bit disappointing. Um, but apart from that, no, a, a good solid bunch of fights that I really yeah. enjoyed. Um, even the the behind the scenes stuff was great. Behind the scenes stuff was on point like, in this episode. Like that Bronco versus um, Hydra. Hydra fight. Yeah. Or not even fight, like a, a comparison between the two. Um, right, what mark would you give? I would go for a 9 out of 10. Oh, you read my mind. 9 out of 10, yeah. I actually was doing that. Yeah, because I, I, like, I'm not going to give it a full 10 out of 10 because it's not like every single fight was making me go, wah! Yeah. You're like, w what saved this for me was yeah, a couple of fights that just weren't that good, but just steady, consistent fights. I didn't have a problem with any of them. I agreed with all of the judges' decisions, um, which is rare for me because I'd fight anyone over anything. You will, yes. Uh, <laughs> I love the behind the scenes stuff, man. 
in the pits they talk to Ragnarok like what is your strategy what are you going to do yeah yeah like, yeah that's something that in previous se- episodes and series they always go what's your strategy oh we're going to do this Great. yeah that's yeah. it yeah, but go. this showed that like like Tim is frantically trying to get the speed controllers in to get it ready to go. Yeah. He's going to have these last little tactics. Well, they're this. trying to set up this whole for TV thing where it's like, yeah, ah, we it's don't brother like against you. brother now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but no, like I, I loved it. It's the thing that's standing out the most for me is uh, is the the Bronco versus uh, Hydra kind of comparison thing. Yes, I did like that. But I think that's genius. But even to show you the measurements. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Hydra was one point, uh, one of one points of a second, uh, the, the, but distance and stuff. I appreciate that because a yeah. person for me is like it went up in the air. But not only you know, that, though, it takes the robots out of the battle box. Yes. So you get to see what they're like. Regular daytime sunlight on a regular piece of asphalt mm. next to a washing machine. Yeah. So it, so the normal there, there is the scale right there because that's something that um, like battle bots, robot wars, king bots, you name it. They've all had that same problem. People don't know the scale. Yes. Like a lot of casual people who have never seen like robot fighting in real life or don't really know a lot about it, they think machines like Free Shipping and Bronco and Hydra and Bite Force and everyone else, they're about the size of the toys. Yeah, yeah. They don't understand. These are gigantic, heavy war machines that can cause you serious harm. Yeah, that's why, why they, is that's why they have to be in the battle box. That's why they're behind all this protective glass. But the trouble is putting them in the battle box. There's nothing there for scale. There's yes. no bananas in the war zone. No, no, no bananas. There's nothing there for scale. So everyone thinks, oh, these are really small. Hmm. So doing little things like uh, Bronco versus Hydra comparisons and taking them outside and showing them throwing like a washing machine around in a regular episode. Inspired. Brilliant. Yeah. And it really shows, like, uh, like I love that measuring up, like, yeah, okay, this is Hydra's idea, it's a new take on the pneumatic flipper design, now they're using hydraulics-based mm. uh, machinery to power it. Is this better than one of the most famous yeah. pneumatic flippers in Bronco? What's the difference? What can it do better? What can, what's not as good? I swear to God, man, they made a deal with the devil. They're like, show us some wonders, boom. <laughs> Absolutely. I yeah. did also like with Hydra where even after the fight with Free Ship and they even interviewed them after going like did it work perfectly fine like that little mini mar- moment where he's like yeah I'm very surprised and I, like, I really thought that uh, he even explained his little mess up where he's like I got too I panicked yeah. and I have messed up my forks at the front but it's an easy fix I like that it was, it's not just like you're confused going what who's damaged what yeah, happened either that or just something as simple as going like right fight's over next fight Yes. Yeah. So I did like, like that. that's one of the big pluses now of having two R episodes. And Matt Keller. The, yeah. The Matt animated Keller. team that went mad like like that, that was just bonkers. Brilliant. Very entertaining yes. as well. Uh, and also Lucky's front scoop getting ripped off and thrown at the camera. Bloodsport. What man. a brilliant camera angle though to catch that. I'm amazed the camera didn't break because it hit directly, and this has got like a polycarb. No, it was the, the the cameras are outside the battle box. This this hit the, the oh, polycarb walls. Oh, they've learned. Walls, they've yeah. learned. <laughs> yeah, they've learned. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Overall, really good episode. Possibly my favorite of the series so far. Really? I like this. I really, really like I, this. I will agree. I do like the fact that they're starting to focus on the fights, but also behind the yeah. fights. But not only that, it's not a waste. No. It's not a behind the scenes thing where it's you know something dumb like you know like with Carmen Electra back in the day or some nonsense like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, you know what I loved in the behind the scenes stuff in this episode for now. So for me, 9 out of 10. Yes, I'm going to go the same. So... Ah, 9 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 for Battle Boots Season 4 Episode 3. Oh, we have uh, the things as well. Things? Patreon. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> he forgot! Th- there's a Patreon. S- support it. Yes, uh, it's please. Re- re- good. It, it helps. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Talk about it amongst your comments, friends. Comments, comments, write stuff oh, in the yeah, comments and say... It. Uh, you're wrong about everything. And you I know the first comment's going to be? Um, Ken's going to go, First? First, yes. Yeah. Uh, he would be like, I will find you. I will hurt you. Oh, what, would you what would your response to that? <laughs> <laughs> He'd wait that. He would smoosh it. Do you really want to risk that? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think that as a new. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs>